If you could describe for us a little bit about what is Starship Rubicon? Yeah, um, so my name's Wick. Um, I'm a neuroscientist from uh, Portland, and I started doing game development on the side. And um, Starship Rubicon is a project where I thought that Asteroids was trash and wanted to try to make a better control scheme for it that kind of flowed better because I played lots of kind of space, space exploration games, um, like top-down spaceship, and I never really found something where I found the combat was really fluid. Um, so I went out and tried to make a game, um, and I ended up with almost like a top-down first-person shooter where you're clicking around um, the screen. And so it's kind of like a cross between a first-person shooter and um, asteroids, obviously. Um, so it's a little bit like maybe a twin six shooter only with one stick. Um, yeah, it's like this roguelike. Um, so you're, it's kind of a lot, I took a lot of cues from FTL, um, where you're going through a galaxy, collecting different ship parts, fighting enemies. Um, it's all procedurally generated. And then you fight a boss and find a new uh, place for humanity who, where Earth was destroyed. Starship Rubicon's out. We went through a holiday sale. The demo just launched a little while ago, and we showed the game at a few conventions. And the Steam reviews are in, and they look good. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, uh, what do you think about all that? Well, of course, I can't help but compare myself to um, the other games I'm seeing out there. They're all super high quality. You see lots of like really beautiful pixel art, um, and it makes I guess Rubicon feel small. Where it's like, okay, we have you know 25 reviews, um, like all thumbs up, pretty much. Um, and people seem to like it, but it's like a big world out there in indie games right now. Um, and it just feels like really like we're a drop in the ocean, um, which is fine because I kind of have always seen Rubicon as right. a starting point. Yeah. And um, all of this like sales and demo and stuff has just been kind of like getting my feet wet as a developer um, to see how the entire system works. So, I don't know, I've been happy. Um, it's been a fun experiment. Oh, I saw some screenshots of an old project that you're working on with a secret developer. <laughs> uh, it's some spider, spider game, Spider-Man game. Uh, I'm curious, what's the project called and do you have any plans to uh, release it in any way? I mean, it's more of a toy and like, it's a dreams of greatness where it's like uh, me and, it's basically just a friend who didn't want to have their name on the internet. Um, but we say, okay, like we want to have this like big sweeping, um, world where you can explore and like swing around and do ropes really well. Um, I feel like lots of my projects kind of start with a seed where I'm like, I want to do this one thing really well, where Rubicon was, I'm going to do clicky spaceship um, movement and shooting really well. And with this one, it's, I want to see rope mechanics done really well and doesn't have a name yet. Star Wars Week Out, uh, Force Awakens is coming out. I'm actually seeing it uh, like on Thursday, which I'm really stoked about. Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, do you remember the... First time you watched a Star Wars film, and did Star Wars sort of impact your game development at all? Okay, two questions. I just, so the first time I saw it, um, I was young. I walked into the living room, and I saw these people getting slowly crushed to death in a trash compactor, and it was terrifying. And I ran out of the room, and my parents were like, "No, no, come watch this. It's fine." But I was like, "I, I would have none of it." Um, it wasn't until I don't remember the first time, years later, where I did watch it, the trilogy. Um, but in terms of game dev, I actually started uh, doing my really serious development work, um, or I guess not serious, but something I put a lot of time into um, was Star Wars uh, Battlefront 2 map editing um, and modding. And it was a lot of fun kind of getting into the universe, um, even though it wasn't as character driven as the movies. Um, I really enjoyed that sort of fill in the blank sort of question. Jar Jar Binks is a good character or a great character? I refuse to answer this question. Working on a Neuron game, which is kind of interesting, I wonder if mm. you could describe it a little bit for us? Yeah, so um, it actually kind of grew out of my research here um, at Reed College where I was reading in this textbook um, where I was trying to describe how this uh, circuit worked in the snail um, where it like reaches out with its mouth closes around food then pulls back and it's actually only three neurons that fire in sequence um, and it has like all these different diagrams of like it would show one state of the machine then the next then the next um, and I felt like that was a really bad way for me to really understand what was going on so I was like I need an interactive model of this um, this is kind of like how I think and how I learn 
Um, but there isn't one that I have found that is really non, doesn't take like a manual of reading to really understand. So I decided to make one. Um, and so I'm trying to figure out how to do things like simulate neurons, um, which takes uh, no small amount of math, it turns out. Um, so I'm trying to teach myself that. And I'm going to try to make this thing that educates how neurons work, because I feel like people have kind of like this, oh, there's like lots of connections, and sometimes in sci-fi, it'll like zoom into a brain, and there'll be like flashing cells, but it's all very complicated, and I don't understand. Um, and I'd like to be able to break it down into something where people can approach it and kind of to have work with it with their hands, even though it's on the computer. Um, and so it's half for me, half maybe um, for like societal greater good, which I'm all about video games uh, playing a part so of. So do you think you'd do it again? Well, of course, like I wouldn't repeat the whole thing. Like So no Starship Rubicon 3.0 then? No, no Starship <laughs> Rubicon Damn it, Wick! <laughs> um, enough of the explody spaceship pew pews. Um, but I mean, I'm happy that I did it. It's been a good experiment, um, but it definitely is something where I'd like to move on to more significant things, um, if nothing else. Like, it's, I yearn for greatness. <laughs>